Hello there everybody and welcome back to the program. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm kicking off a new series of videos. This one is going to be a greenhouse build using as much uh, secondhand used and free materials, in particular doors and windows, uh, that I can to get that done. So behind me I've spent the last three weekends clearing a spot here on the farm, uh, cut out I think 15 trees, pulled out 17 stumps, briar patches, moved wood piles, all to prepare uh, to make a space to make this greenhouse. So in this first video, which may take me a little while to make the whole series, uh, so you'll see my clothes change, my hat change, the weather change, and I may even go grayer before this is done. But we're kicking it off here in July, and the good news is we have until March to get it done, because uh, the intent is to have it ready for my wife uh, to use this coming spring. So behind me is where we're going to get started, and that's on the foundation. So what I'm looking to do is build a structure that's going to give us a good 15 plus years of service if we maintain it well. And in order to expect such a thing, uh, I want to build a good solid foundation uh, to give it a good, good base to stand on. So behind me here, this may look clear, and it is, just got done clearing it yesterday, but it's not level. So the first step will be the level of place right behind me uh, to prepare to do the foundation. So grab something to drink, sit tight. In this episode, we're going to be looking at building the foundation or preparing the foundation for our greenhouse DIY build. Stay tuned. You're going to love it. All right, everybody, before we jump into leveling the ground for the foundation, wanted to quickly show you the uh, windows I picked up that we're going to be using in this project. Now, hopefully I've got enough here. I think I do uh, for our intended build. But pick these up. Um, one of our neighbors was replacing their windows and siding, and they were throwing these out. So picked up all these windows for free. And uh, I think they should hold up for many more years. I do got to pull some nails out of them, but otherwise they're good to go. If you're interested in doing your own greenhouse from used materials, definitely keep your eye on places like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. I'm sure if you're patient and you start looking enough in advance, you're going to get some pretty sweet deals. Speaking of sweet deals on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, five bucks a piece picked up these glass doors and so those will be uh, used as windows in this project as well but I uh, thought that was a pretty good deal picked up three of them for fifteen dollars Got about 16 inches of fall over 16 feet. So my plan is to excavate it all to level and then get ready for the foundation.
right folks after about two and a half to three hours we've got that all dug out and pretty much level to within an inch inch and a half it's good enough to go ahead and get my form work in uh, we'll level it up the rest of the way with a little bit of crushed stone once the forms are in place but we're going to pour a footer all the way around upon which the uh, the walls are going to sit like I said before, I want to have this to have a good solid foundation, and uh, that's how we're going to go about doing it. Do a, I think about a three to four inch footer all the way around. So stay tuned, that's up next. All right, before we get too carried away with doing the form work, I wanted to put the drain in. And what I've picked up is some four inch corrugated flexible piping, and I've dug a trench from here where I want the outlet to be out into the center of where the greenhouse is going to be. We don't want to be too careful when we're watering in the greenhouse, like the water just to fall to the ground, filter through the uh, drainage stone and into the drainage system and out into this drainage area. So that's what we're going to do now is get that uh, flex pipe in and uh, then we'll be ready for the form work. Okay, so we got the perforated drainage pipe in. Now just this first section is perforated that's going to go through the greenhouse and then down here where I ended with the uh, fabric all the way to the drain endpoint is a solid pipe so doesn't need drainage stone or fabric there just need to finish backfilling and we'll be ready to move on to forms. All right so far today has been fairly productive I've got the form work a little over half in just going to go put some gravel in there now and then finish it up. It's been a long day and I am wore out, but I've got the form work completed, but I didn't get a chance to start on the rebar yet. So just to tell you what I got going on here, I'm doing a 16 inch wide footer, three and a half inches thick, and the dimensions of this particular greenhouse is going to be about 12 feet by 16 and a half feet. So stay tuned, we're going to wrap up the foundation next. So here's the setup for today's crazy attempt to pour the footing. I had to put the, uh, the rental mixer from uh, Home Depot up on some cinder blocks. It's the only way I could get it to dump in the wheelbarrow. But my plan, if it works, is to mix up a couple bags, pour it in the uh, wheelbarrow, and then work my way around the perimeter of the footing and back to the start and be done. So I picked up 2,400 pounds of concrete mix, which is 40, 60 pound bags to start. I think it's gonna come up a little bit short, but depending on how short it is, I've got a couple bags left over in the, uh, the barn from another project, or I can just run up the road and uh, grab another half a dozen bags. But anyway, let's get cracking before the sun comes all the way out because it's going to be 95 degrees here today and we don't want to uh, be working in that if we don't have to but I'm sure that we're going to be working well into the afternoon finishing this off so stay tuned So much easier than by hand.
Time for a quick status update. So the most observant among you will have noticed this mixer is not the same as the mixer I started my day with. In fact, it's a little bit larger. But the first one that I started with actually died while mixing the 20th and 21st bag of concrete mix this morning. And if you think about it, it was really quite convenient. So I got to uh, clean out a loaded mixer, uh, do a 50 mile round trip drive, and take a two hour break during the coolest part of the day. So enough of me bragging about my good fortune. I need to crack on and finish up this part of the job. All right, well, I certainly uh, tip my hat to the people that do this day in and day out for a living. That's a lot of hard work. Um, when I did my calculations, I figured 47 60 pound bags is what it would take to do the footer. So I bought 50 and uh, I ended up with one left over. So I'm glad I picked up a couple extra. But don't go anywhere, lots of foundation work left to do. All right, that took a few hours and a few uh, hiccups along the way, having to go get another mixer to finish up the job. But the footer's all poured, so we're gonna leave it for a few days, let the concrete cure a bit, and then strip the forms. And then it's gonna be time to start some work with the, uh, the concrete blocks. You can see at the back there, I'm still well below grade. So I'm gonna build some walls on this and on top of those walls where we're going to build our frame. So not the end of the foundation video just yet. You hang in there. You're going to enjoy what you see. So now that we have all the holes drilled and blown out, we've used the epoxy, the anchor epoxy, to put in our rebars. So now, can't put it off any longer, it's time to mix up some mortar, start setting some blocks. Now I am not a good mason, but with practice I hopefully will get a little bit better. And this uh, greenhouse is all about what's the best greenhouse I can build. Welcome to another morning in the greenhouse build out here on the TNT farm. Before it gets too hot and muggy and I turn into a wet blanket, I want to walk you through our progress on the foundation to date. So let me grab the camera, I'll show you where we are today and tell you what we're going to do next. Alrighty, so so far we finished up the three CMU block walls. And that one you can see is still a little wet because I finished it last night. But we also came back and everywhere you saw one of those pink rebars in a previous clip, I've gone ahead and filled those columns up with concrete. And the reason I did that is because those are going to be points where I'm going to anchor uh, the wood framing, which will be in the next video. But today, today what I want to get accomplished is cap this wall with these 12 inch pave stones. Now I do have something else in store for the foundation, but we'll save that for a little bit later. Well, we certainly got off to a great start. The weather in the beginning was fantastic, and I know today looks pretty good, but lately here it's been rain every other day, and my boots are so covered in mud they must weigh six pounds a piece. But we finally got the foundation portion wrapped up, and uh, that draws this episode of the greenhouse build to a close. But don't leave just yet. I'm going to walk you around, show you what we did, and then I'm going to show you how much money we spent. So just a quick recap. We started out by doing a little bit of civil work and digging into the bank. Then we came in and uh, put in a drain in the floor and uh, some gravel. I'm going to put a little bit more in there before I'm done. And then we went and formed up and poured the concrete footer all the way around. And that's a 16 inch wide by three and a half inch thick with reinforcement rebar. And then we came back and uh, built a CMU wall on three sides, two courses high. And then finally I came back 
and use these patio pavers as a cap all the way around and then I've uh, I've siliconed the joints so that the water doesn't run through using this liquid cement caulking and then this morning I finished off by putting the uh, the batten board all the way around to which I'm going to attach the walls now I do have something else in store potentially but I'm going to save that for the big reveal at the end uh, that I'm going to dress up this this foundation a little bit more and we got some landscaping to do and I also forgot to run a drain um, from the back to the front that's what those pipes there are for because I'm going to end up doing a water harvesting at the back of the greenhouse and I need the overflow to run somewhere so that's uh, that'll be done here in short order but now just before I do a rundown of the cost a reminder this is a how did video it's how I built this greenhouse it's not necessarily how you should build your greenhouse um, I'm not a professional contractor I'm not even an unprofessional contractor just a guy with some tools willing to try new things now with that let's get into how much my build is costing me so far so for episode number one enough to have my own tractor and backhoe so I'm saying that equipment rental was free and you may have level ground and not require doing any excavation but I put in twenty dollars for diesel for the tractor I also bought a load of gravel for the driveway and I'm assuming I used about hundred and fifty dollars worth of that load for this particular build now on the concrete footer uh, to buy the forms and the rebar cost me about three hundred dollars uh, lumber still isn't cheap but I'm gonna recycle most of that lumber and use it in future projects so hopefully I'll recoup some of that cost now the concrete uh, bought in bag form uh, cost me two hundred and fifty dollars and the cement mixer uh, was only seventy five dollars again uh, I had to take the first one back and return it and swap it out and rather than charging me for two days rental they only charged me for a single day so I got lucky and unlucky on that now as far as the walls uh, to buy the blocks that's the CMU and the pavers was two hundred eighty dollars and mortar surprisingly was two hundred dollars in total went through an awful lot of mortar and that brings my total for episode number one foundations up to one thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars now there are cheaper ways to do a foundation for sure uh, all the way down to sitting it on gravel or using uh, some pressure treated sleepers but uh, your particular application requires your particular solution this just happens to be the one that I tried out but hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of the greenhouse build the inaugural episode of the greenhouse build and if you want to see how it turns out and how much it costs to build a similar greenhouse be sure to hit subscribe do me a favor and hit like and we will see you in the next episode until then bye bye